I've been looking through Instagram and if photography is your thing, you'll note that a lot of photographers have really cool camera straps. Not a lot of them are available online or at average camera shops. Today I'll show you how to make your own with really simple tools and techniques. What you'll need A rope for the camera strap itself. It should be between 10 and 15 millimeters in diameter. The length is all up to you. I made this particular rope with some 2.5mm lacing cord, all by using a simple spool knitting technique. There is a lot of tutorials online. It's easy and will create a rope with a cool texture. I used a 3 point spool. Next is some heavy duty polyester thread, a needle, tailor's owl, a fine liner, cutting knife and some off cut leather that you can get for almost free at your local shoe repair shop or leather shop. All of this is extremely cheap. I got the lacing cord at our local hardware shop and made the spool myself. The heavy duty thread, needle and tailor's owl at our local fabric shop. I'm sure a cutting knife and pen is something that you have. And I've got the off cut leather from our local shoe repair shop. All of this adds up to 83 Rand. Convert our South African Rand to US dollar and it adds up to almost 6 dollars. Now you need to work out and design your own template for the leather strap holder and the neck piece. This is the templates that I worked out for myself. Outline the templates on the leather and cut them out with your cutting knife. Next you need to poke holes through the template and leather with a tailor's owl for the needle and thread to go through. If you're using a rope similar to mine, cut and seal the ends. Get your needle and thread ready. Now you need to stitch everything together making sure it goes through the rope and the strap holder. I did mine in a cross pattern, doing the exact same thing in front. When you're done stitching everything together, cut and seal the thread. Now get the rope through the neck piece with an up and under motion. The existing strap rings on my camera are too small, so I use some key rings instead. Now your strap is done, you can go and enjoy photography. Unfortunately the blue color for the lacing cord was the only color available to me, but you can get creative. This was my first attempt working with leather and camera straps. Please do consider using better methods. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video please consider to like and subscribe to my channel.